Okay, something else, I'm, uh, in, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm getting ready to put the fuel injector and the fuel rail back on. Um, so on my truck, as you can see here, I'm, I'm in, I just took these out of the Sonic Cleaner uh, along with the O-rings. On, on my truck, early on, I decided to replace the fuel injectors, and I went with these Bosch ones. Now, I, I don't know a heck of a lot about them. And you can kind of see the the numbers there, but I I get a lot of questions about these. Uh, may, maybe not a lot of questions, but people do ask, like, oh, where did you get your fuel injectors and stuff? Because I mentioned them in a few videos. Um, you can see a little difficult with the lighting, but you you can kind of see here that these are four hole injectors, whereas the factory Toyota ones or uh, two hole and the idea is that this gives a little bit better pattern into the cylinders uh, into the intake you know and that the fuel is a little little less of a stream of gasoline and a little more of a cloud and I think that's true based on comparing these to the uh, stock Toyota ones now now I will say the stock Toyota two hole fuel injectors are really good really good fuel injectors um these are a little more like you know made out of plastic i guess you would say uh but i like them i've been real happy with them i you know i couldn't tell you whether there's any increase in performance or fuel economy or any of that stuff i i just uh replaced these kind of when i was starting to learn about the 22 re and, and upgrade the motor and stuff uh here's what i will say though is getting these on your 22 re is no easy task uh, it's not exactly you know bolt on as they like to say of course bolt on always means fabricate on that's the joke in the car world uh, anytime you see bolt on that just means fabricate on but from a marketing standpoint bolt on is what you know they sell everything as so these particular bosch injectors do plug right into the factory harness so that that part's nice and they as i remember they they pretty much clip right into the fuel rail and and you may notice that i have painted my fuel rail uh this is actually as i remember i, I bought a brand new fuel rail from lc engineering uh i believe it's a toyota fuel rail and i bought a new uh pressure regulator as well um and basically i did that just because i uh trying to clean the original fuel rail on my car was just a nightmare so I just paid whatever the money was and bought a new one I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks at the time uh, and then I painted it with tractor paint so that it would it would stay clean now if if you're going to put these particular fuel injectors on on your 22 R, here, here's something you really got to know uh First of all, if I remember correctly, they, they come with this little gizmo kind of deal that's common to all fuel injectors called a pent hole, as I remember, and you gotta go through some sort of crazy steps to put that thing on. Um, I tried to do all that, and it was such a pain in the ass that I just threw those in the garbage. <laughs> because, I don't, like, I don't remember what this, the idea of them was, but I think it was to protect these from the cylinder temperatures or something but I didn't end up using them uh, they got in my way so they went in the trash uh, also and this is where you're gonna if you if you buy these and I'll, I'll put the link to where I got them it's uh, like 5.0 racing or something uh, they sell a little kit uh, and that's what I ended up buying but this is the part that goes over the nose of these things and uh, sits down, and we can kind of look over here. It sits down into the uh, the intake runners. So these little O-ring guys go in that little little hole right there. And then the fuel rail bolts on here with these dowels, indexing dowels, and away you go. There's just two big eight millimeter bolts. These guys here, mm -hmm. mine are titanium, but eight millimeter um and then so when you put those eight millimeter bolts through the fuel rail and clamp this sucker down to the 
the intake runner <clears throat> that's bolted to your cylinder head, uh, it, it pushes the all four fuel injectors into these little O-rings. Now, it's been a number of years since I did this modification or upgrade to my motor, but as I remember, out of the box, it didn't fit. When I went to bolt everything down, uh, however it came from kind of, you know, the factory, or not the factory, but you know, however it all showed up, when I tried to put everything together, as I remember, my fuel rail stood off about, you know, a hundred thousandths or, or an eighth of an inch roughly, hundred twenty-five thousandths, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. And at first I thought, well, maybe I'm just supposed to crank down on these, you know, attaching uh, bolts. But I, I quickly realized something's not right here. And what I ended up having to do, as I recall, was I, I think I had to either go back and get the O-rings from the factory fuel injectors, or the ones that came on here, or I think I, I might have had to go on eBay and buy like a, a full little kit that has all the different O-rings and the pinhole and all that nonsense. Somewhere, and I wish I could tell you what, where where the parts came from, but I, I just, I at that time I, I didn't write it down and I, I don't uh, have any notes on it, I don't think. But here's what I do vaguely remember. I vaguely remember I had to take something that I had handy in terms of fuel injectors and I and I had to take a razor blade as I recall and I think you can kind of see the remnants of it here I think I had to very carefully let me zoom my camera in a little here I think I think what I had to do was very carefully take a razor blade and you can kind of see the remnants of it I think a little bit I think I had to very carefully take a razor blade and either cut part of this o-ring away or trim it down and like I said I don't remember what the heck the story was I just remember I, it, it wasn't a bolt-on situation because the, there was too much material and when it tried to press down it was holding this it was holding the show off too much I had to cut something away I want I want to say I want to say it was the second little bump of this nose piece that goes in to the the uh, intake runner that I showed over there on the cylinder head. And I think once I cut that piece off, then that was what got the show on the road as far as being able to properly mount these guys in, have the correct clearances such that when you when you insert these two bolts and start snugging this thing down towards the cylinder head and the intake runner that was what allowed me to get my space incorrect so if you go this this route with the Bosch fuel injectors the four hole ones for your 22R just be aware that it's not you know quote unquote bolt on despite what they tell you 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 may have to either buy a kit of you know washers from ebay or you might have to go fish out your your previous parts from your factory uh injectors and then break out a little razor blade and start modifying stuff to get the spacing uh for the fuel injectors to be correct once you get that then it's then it is pretty much plug and play now, something else I'll mention is that because we're dealing with motors that are, you know, 30 plus years old in some cases, it is a great idea to buy these connectors from uh, eBay or, or wherever. I can't remember where I got mine. And what I ended up doing, and you, you can see I've you know, redone my entire, the entire wiring harness on the truck, I've redone it. And part of that process was redoing the fuel injector harness because my original connectors had, had broken. A couple of them had broken and, and they were barely hanging on to the fuel injectors. Um, 
what I did with these guys is you, if you're very careful, you can take a very t sharp uh, needle and you can slip it in there and depress the tabs on the factory uh, wiring harness connectors. And, and you got to make a note of which way things go and then you can slip them out and then transfer the, the wire and the, the crimped on uh, metal connector from your original Toyota harness and slip it into the new uh, connector with its little rubber insulators and then end up with a more or less a, a brand new you know not dried out and cracking kind of connector ah uh, you know what I'll see if I can dig up any notes as to where I got my my connectors I, I might I might have some sort of link or something if I can find it I'll put it in the description of the video for anyone who's contemplating upgrading the uh, fuel injectors on on their 22 re okay and just wanted to kind of finish up the video here by showing how things look uh, after installation so a uh, couple couple things to point out is getting the fuel rail on and getting the fuel injectors in with their little rubber o-rings fitted into the intake runner uh, it's kind of one of those you know you can't get one without the other deals so the nose of the fuel injector has to be inserted into the o-ring you can't just slap all four o-rings into the intake runner and then jam this the uh, fuel injector noses all in there or you're gonna create problems and the reason for that is because the o-ring has to kind of be trapped between the outside of the housing and the diameter of the nose to affect a good seal so what you what you got to do is you and you can't fully put the o-ring on the nose and then jam it in either because as you slide the fuel injector nose it it increases in diameter ever so slightly and and forces the o-ring out so you kind of have to do it in one kind of motion that does both accomplishes both sides of the seal so the way you kind of have to do it is you start the o-ring on the nose and, and get past that little initial lip of the front of the uh, fuel injector and then you get them all kind of lined up and start pushing them in a little bit but then what happens is you, you can't push the fuel injector all the way in because it, it kind of prevents the o-ring from getting further down there so then you got to stop what you're doing once you have things initially in a little bit and then kind of go in on each o-ring kind of you know push it further along and then you know follow that up with pushing the fuel injector a little further along and and then what happens is as you're working on one side over here this side wants to pop out and vice versa so what what's good is to get a slightly longer bolt than the than the final size and and use it to kind of keep that from happening or get one side in far enough that you can catch the first bolt and then jump back over here and work on this the, so that 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 will help a lot when when you're tackling this job the first time around um the other thing to be kind of aware of is the routing of the connectors and also these little kind of freewheeling guys down here the little clips that hold the fuel injector itself into the fuel rail you want to make sure especially on this guy over here that this thing doesn't get pinched you can see how it moves around before you tighten it you want to make sure it doesn't get pinched in the wrong direction if this thing's upside down it'll prevent the connector from slipping on and clicking and with regard to the connectors on number four what I do is I rotate it away from the EGR valve uh, area so I have room to kind of you know it's uh, the, the connector is pointing over there at kind of like the, the two two o'clock position and then the same same for here you got to clear this fuel uh, uh, fitting for the uh, coal start injector so if you have this thing straight up and down you kind of got your connector you know hitting in here so you got to tip this one 
over to like the 10 o'clock position. This guy has some, some room to work with so you can kind of position it how you, how you want. I lean it over that direction based on how my wiring harness is built. Uh, on number one, I don't remember that there was anything too uh, much of an issue other than making sure this little guy here stays out of the way. Uh, so I, I just, as I remember, I just run this guy straight up and down at noon. This guy here, number two, is canted over a little bit towards uh, maybe 11 o'clock. So that, you know, that's a few tips when you get to installation that might make your life less horrible when you're trying to get this all mounted in. And then the final part is just tightening down the, the uh, retaining bolts and hooking up the, the uh, fittings, you know, the banjo fittings and so forth for the fuel uh, supply. Um, and so that, that kind of is the whole show. You don't, you don't need to go crazy tightening these things down, uh, either. You just need enough to kind of hold it in, uh, place when you're putting, putting everything back together. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that will kind of help a little bit when you're trying to get that fuel rail back on the motor because it, it can be kind of a, a, a little bit of a tedious job in my experience taking it on and off a few times here so all right uh, I think that's gonna cover it for the fuel injector video if you if you enjoy the video uh, consider subscribing and all that uh, like the video and uh, as always, if you have any, you know, specific questions about anything, feel free to use the comment section below. I, I will put some of the uh, parts and information I can dig up uh, relative to these Bosch fuel injectors for anyone who wants to put them on, on the motor. I, I've got about 15,000 miles on them and uh, never had any problems. I think the only problem I had was when I first put the fuel injectors in, uh, I think number four, when I tested it and I have and I'll put a link to that I have a fuel injector tester that you can hook up and and stuff I, I think number four w was stuck but I just had to kind of like very lightly tap it with the end of a screwdriver and then it sprung to life and I I will say when I bought these I I uh, flow tested them as well and I'll put the I'll go dig up my old flow numbers for these particular uh, injectors but I, you know, I want to say they were within a tenth uh, of a cc per injector, but I'll uh, I'll put that information in the description of the video uh, for anyone who's who's curious about all that stuff and and wants to read through kind of my my notes about running these injectors. But like I say, uh, real happy with them. Uh, I uh, you know I, if I had it to do do over again, I think I would still go with these, even though. The Toyota factory fuel injectors are really nice quality, I, I will say that. And uh, the only real reason to go with these is just because they do have that slightly nicer four hole kind of mist into the motor effect, which uh, I, I think is uh, helpful for fuel economy and a few things like that. But otherwise, they run great. So, okay, uh, again, hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, feel free to make use of that comment section below. Thanks for watching.